Hey, what happened to all the armor we made you already? I used it. Well, maybe try to make this one last longer. I will not. Welcome to Mojo Plays, and today we're gearing up for Ragnarok and trying out the 10 best armor sets in God of War Ragnarok. For this list, we'll be looking at armor sets to give Kratos the edge no matter what type of build you're looking for to take on the many dangers at the end of the Nine Realms. What's your go-to armor set in God of War Ragnarok? Let us know down in the comments. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. The Survival Set It fits. Believe it or not, the starting armor set is also one of the most balanced and useful in the entire game. It might not be the flashiest, at least compared to the rest on our list, but for those looking for a well-rounded set of armor that doesn't require a ton of special resources to reach its full potential, this set is for you. The survival set doesn't have any special skills attached to it, but it is the only armor in the game that when it levels up, nearly each of its stats also levels up. This is also great for those Souls fans looking to complete the game with the lowest gear that still won't let you down when you need it. Woohoo! Lucky good! The Radiance Set. Perhaps we should show it to one of the dwarves. They'll know what to do with it. One of the most beneficial sets you can find early on while exploring the Forbidden Sands in Alfheim the Radiant set comes equipped with Realm Shift, which allows Kratos to slow time after a last second dodge, providing him a window in which to counterattack nearly any enemy. This set is especially geared towards more aggressive, offensive players who prefer to get up close and personal and perfect those last second dodges. The Radiant's armor also boosts runic damage in addition to making Kratos move like Neo, and while these abilities will be outclassed by later armor sets, these special buffs are especially useful in those early hours. The Guiding Light Set Arguably one of the easier armor sets to find, the Guiding Light Set can be found by exploring the Lake of Nine in Midgard by completing the Guiding Light Favor, which sees Kratos searching the Lake of Nine for the various pieces of Tyr's statue that was destroyed at the start of the game. One of the more visually appealing armor sets in the game, the Guiding Light set focuses on boosting Kratos' luck stat, which can increase the chances for critical strikes, or more importantly, cause many explosions when attacking an enemy, which is particularly useful during those times when the odds are overwhelming. The Fallen Stars set. Did the lake just react to us destroying that crystal? It will appear. The lands of Vanaheim are certainly more alive than those in other realms. An armor set fit for a god of war, besides the obvious visual flair of the set, the Fallen Star's armor lives up to its title by granting buffs to runic and special attacks, ensuring Kratos' enemies will definitely be seeing stars by the time he's done with them. Beyond the stat buffs, the armor is tailored to those looking for a more defensive build and will reduce damage taken when performing runic attacks while also granting faster runic cooldown. The set can be acquired when exploring the crater in Vanaheim by throwing the various crystalline shards you find scattered throughout into a wishing well. Yes, really. It speaks its own language, one I understand. It wants to show its gratitude. Just toss a crystal in. The Dragon Scaled Set. <laughs> Kratos was the first to kill a dragon in ages in God of War 2018, so it's about time he wore that badge with honor. The dragon scaled armor set once again requires you to kill a dragon, but this time you're taking more than just his tooth. Found in Vanaheim, once again in the crater, Kratos will acquire the blueprints for the armor set simply by setting foot in the expansive playground. Once forged, the armor grants stackable buffs to strength and defense with every attack until Kratos is interrupted or hit. This is the best armor for those confident in their blocks and parries, as the armor will also grant a 50% buff to shield damage on successful blocks. Plus, it just looks incredible. The Undying Pyre set. 
could always warm up first. Searcher's Scorched Armor isn't the only reward in Muspelheim, and the Undying Pyre set is arguably much easier to acquire as you simply need to complete the basic Muspelheim trials to obtain the set. Don't think this makes it any less useful, however, as the buffs it provides to Kratos' Permafrost, Emulation, and later Maelstrom with the Drop Near Spear cannot be overlooked. The more successful hits Kratos lands in a row, the more powerful his attacks become. Managing to maintain a constant, unending streak of attacks is no easy feat, especially in the heat of battle, but for those most skilled in God of War's combat system, this set will make encounters a breeze. The Fatebreaker set. I will be your general. It will be an honor to fight alongside you, general. Besides the survival set, since it's already the starting armor, this is the simplest armor to acquire as just before the events of Ragnarok, it appears in Kratos' inventory. Much like the survival set, the Fatebreaker set is one of the most well-rounded in the game, providing huge buffs to strength, defense, vitality, and even luck, while also granting Kratos the Raging Aftermath which grants bonuses when exiting Spartan Rage in addition to an increase to the rate at which Spartan Rage is gained. Since this is the final assault on Asgard, it's only fitting that one of the best armors is saved for last. Plus it comes in a matching set for Atreus. Thank you, Lunda. Hey, ya uh, big softy, you can thank me after, uh, if, if we all come through the other end. I will. Lunda's lost set. <laughs> More broken armor, I see. Nearly have a full set now. Lunda certainly makes a lasting impression upon first meeting her in Vanaheim, and the search for her missing armor set, as well as her mysterious orb, which ends up making Kratos look a bit foolish, but she makes up for it with by far one of the best armor sets for most of the game. What makes this armor especially useful is the poison status it inflicts on enemies. When attacking barehanded, Kratos will immediately cause the poison status effect, which not only damages the enemy he's facing, but also lowers their power level, causing them to deal less damage while also significantly lowering their defenses. This set is essential in tougher boss battles, as the effect can be used against any and all foes Kratos faces within the Nine Realms. The Berserker set. What is its connection to these spirits? It's a symbol of their betrayal, their cruelty personified. The sooner we are done with it, the better. Not only is the Berserker set one of the best armor sets in the entire game, it's also one of the most difficult to obtain. Only available by defeating three of the optional Berserker boss fights, which is no easy feat, the Berserker armor is also one of a risk versus reward, so while powerful, it isn't without its drawbacks. Once fully upgraded, the Berserker set can make Kratos nearly unstoppable, granting a massive boost to Kratos' melee damage after using a runic attack, but will also greatly increase the damage he receives, so this armor is specially tailored to those who have mastered Ragnarok's combat system. Unfortunately, this set is not available until pretty late in the game, and requires very special materials and resources to fully upgrade, so those looking to get the most out of this armor might have to wait until the eventual New Game Plus. Let's just take this victory and move on, huh? There is no need to shoulder this burden on your own. Admittedly, you're shouldering the brunt of the work here. Let me worry about the emotional one. Steindorn's armor. <laughs> This one's going to take a bit of legwork to unlock, but it's all worth the effort to acquire one of the best armor sets in the entire game. Only available by completing a very specific hidden questline, in which you use the Mystic Heirloom to reawaken the sleeping trolls hidden throughout the realms, and then subsequently putting them to sleep permanently, Steinbjorn's set is an absolute tank, complete with health buffs not offered by any other set in the game. After taking damage, Kratos can regain his lost health with each successful attack, giving him near-infinite health regeneration for as long as he can keep his combo going. 
Given the benefits of this armor, many are concerned it will be nerfed in an update, but to date, it remains one of the best and most useful sets in the entire game. Damn! Am I good or what? Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips for Mojo Plays, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.